Hi everyone and welcome to New York. I have been here for the launch of Avoto 6. I thought I knew what it was going to be and it was that but so so much more which has been one of the biggest highlights of my whole photography career to be asked to come to New York for the launch of such incredible new software. Now if you follow me in my channel you already know that Evoto are one of the leading, the best, the best software company out there for skin retouching and portrait enhancements and in this video I'm going to be showing you the new features. I am nearly out of breath but trust me it's insane, it's amazing. This is game changing for not just the photography industry but also the videography industry. So if you shoot video, keep watching this video because what I'm gonna show you is crazy. It's honestly crazy. Evoto went big on the launch of this and it's not hard to see why once you see what changes they are bringing to the industry, not just for photo, but for video. So without further ado, make sure I don't <laughs> miss my train. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you a little bit of behind the scenes of New York. Let's then show you the new features of Avoto 6. They are insane. Helen, we've become the coolest people in the world. Look who I bumped into. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Who's in there? Oh, yeah. Who's in there? Before I get into the new features, and trust me, you want to see these because Evoto is now so much more than just portrait enhancement software. It's much bigger than that now. Let's recap some of the existing features of Evoto, which I personally use all the time when I'm editing. Just to remind you of how effective it was already and why it is now an essential part of my workflow. For skin smoothing and removing blemishes, there is simply nothing better than Evoto. Just look at not only how effective this is, but how quick it is too. I also love the glasses glare removal slider. Just look at how effective this is. Another of my favorites is stray hair removal because it's literally saved me hours in Photoshop. I also use de-wrinkle for clothing a lot and fully enough, when I asked Ryan from Avoto at the launch event what his favourite feature was, he said the same. There are countless other sliders too, far too many to go through in this video, but if you want to know more about the basics of Avoto, please watch this video as I go through many, many more of the features in that video with lots of before and after examples. Right, the exciting part, let's talk about the new features of Avoto 6 because like I say, this is a massive update. Avoto have gone huge with Avoto 6. The launch event was incredibly well organized and it was live streamed too. Just look at this cool setup. And I can tell you, as someone who was lucky enough to be in the room while these features were being announced, everyone was in awe. Evoto have added lots of new features and capabilities all at once in this update. I'm going to show you what I think are the three biggest features, but there are countless others, including... So first off, and this is a big one, Evoto now offers AI culling. This is huge and it really shows how Evoto is evolving from being standalone portrait retouching software into something just much more expansive. As I only got back from New York two days ago, I haven't had a chance to really try out the culling feature myself yet, but let me try and show you how it works with just a small selection of images. 
So here we are in Evoto, and please bear in mind, this is brand new to me in Evoto, so bear with me, please. So what we're going to do, first of all, we now go up to here, and we're going to create a new project. Let's call this Culling Test. And I'm going to bring in some images now from my latest wedding, just a small selection for now, just to see how it works. Okay, so this is what we see. I've selected some images from... Rebecca, the bride, getting ready. And I'm now going to, she won't like that. You, you've seen all the roars here, so apologies. What I'm now going to do is go back into library. And now down here, we have the option of start AI culling. So let's select that. As you can see, we have a few different options here. Evoto is going to choose of the 49 images, 15. I don't want to do that. Let's just say 10. Also, we can change the event type. So although this is a wedding, I want to click on portrait for this because these are portrait shots. And then we've got a few options down here in detection settings. We can have the closed eye detection on, but because this is makeup, I'm going to turn that off because obviously it could get confused. What I like though is if closed eye detection is on, it will skip the ones where someone is laughing. So in other words, if your eyes are closed because you're laughing, Evoto will, will know that, which is nice. But I'm going to turn closed eye detection off. I'm going to keep all the other options here just as standard. And I'll ask it to limit the selected photos per group to three. So what Evoto will do, it will try and break down the images into groups. So if you shoot over this direction for 10 shots and then over that direction for 10 shots, that is two groups in effect. I also like this as well, that we can select auto tag. In other words, it will automatically give, say, five stars or whatever you ask it to, to the selected selections that it makes. So we'll click on start culling. Down here you see the progress tab and here are the selections that it has made. You can see that as I requested we've got 10 AI selections so I can just look at those on their own and there are 37 candidates which is the ones that it's not dismissed but it you might want to check. So what's cool is what we can do is click on say this image and then we can see what the duplicates are and what else is in the group along with that image. So we can see which Evoto has selected. So if I click on that, you'll see it selected these top four and it's not included these at the bottom. And just at a glance, I think that is pretty good. I would say looking at them, that number one is probably my favorite choice. I wouldn't include this one personally, and I wouldn't include the rest. So I think that's pretty impressive. So let's go to grid view again, and let's look at the other group. So we'll look at this one. Let's look at the other options that it's had. Good. That would be my favorite. I wouldn't have included this one, but maybe it's because I forced it to choose more from this group. And I wouldn't include any, oh, maybe this one. Well, it's very the same to that, but wouldn't include, wouldn't include. Yeah, I think overall that and that is good choices. Not so much that one. And these, no, but it's correctly not included those. So if we just look at the selections, Pretty good, I would say. It certainly selected my favourites from all of them. What I need to do now, obviously, is test this more to see if this can become a really important part of my workflow. I would love it if it could because this would save me so much time. So in the future, I will make a more in-depth video on AI culling once I've tested it more. But as a first glance, a first go, I'm pretty impressed. The next huge upgrade is the introduction of wireless tethered shooting. Now, if you're a studio photographer or if, like me, you run educational workshops where you want the attendees to be able to see what you're shooting live, this is amazing. Now, the video clip that you're seeing on the screen now is from my three-day workshop, Shine. And I'm actually at that workshop right now. I'm uploading this video from Shine. But I was really keen on showing you this clip because, to me, this is really, really cool. Because rather than having to walk around everyone and show them the back of my camera, I can now wirelessly tether to Evoto. And as I shoot, the images appear just like magic 
on this screen. And with the dual screen display option, the images can appear on a second display at the same time. And what is even more amazing is that you can apply presets on import. So if you do that, not only do the images that you're taking appear on your computer, almost immediately, but they also appear with the Evoto Magic, with the skin smoothing and whatever else you include in your presets applied instantly. Honestly, it's amazing. The third huge update for me is the launch of Cloud Spaces. This is a cloud storage solution, which means that multiple people now can have access to the same galleries and images in Evoto, and you can all work on them together at the same time. So if one team member is in the UK, for example, and they make a change to an image in Evoto, another team member on the other side of the world would see those changes instantly. Obviously, for photography studios, this is huge. As I work on my own, I may not use it for that reason, but what I definitely will want to use, and this is a game changer for wedding photographers especially, is something which works with Cloud Spaces, and that is Evoto's new mobile app, Evoto Instant. Woo! Now, bear in mind, I haven't had a chance to use this myself as yet. This is all brand new information to me as well as it is to you. But what I can tell you is when we were shown a demo of the app at the launch event, everyone was just looking around at each other and going like, whoa, look at Nelson's reaction here. With Evoto Instant, which is an app that you can download for Android or iPhone, you can create an online gallery before an event, let's say a wedding. Now, whilst you're at that wedding, and this is, this is crazy, you can connect your camera to your phone, and as you shoot, not only is Evoto Live culling your images in the cloud, but it's also editing them too, all to the parameters and the settings which you've asked it to. Those selections which Evoto has culled and edited are then automatically added to the online gallery which you created, and you can share that online gallery with guests at the wedding live and even more crazy rather than looking at the whole gallery by using facial recognition wedding guests can search for only the images which they are in so if i've understood this correctly this now means that you can go to a wedding as a photographer, have all your images uploaded live as you're shooting to an Evoto gallery. They are then automatically culled to your preferences and automatically edited using your own Evoto preset. All instantly and all happening in the background whilst you're at that wedding and shooting live. I also could not make this video without showing you what Evoto has coming for video either. Evoto are bringing their AI retouching to video. And honestly, this is wild. I think that the clips that you're seeing now just speak for themselves. There was literally gasps in the audience when Evoto video was announced because I don't think anyone could believe it. It's crazy technology. I also really wanted to share this fun story from the Evoto One launch. I attended the event with two incredible photographers and I can now say friends of mine, Flashmasters ambassador Jeff Tisman and the current Flashmasters photographer of the year, Nelson Santos, alongside my good friend Bruce, who was very, very kind and allowed me to stay in his apartment whilst I was in New York. And Bruce showed me all around New York. He was a great, great host. It was also an honor to finally meet Jeff and Nelson in person. Now, not only is Nelson one of the most talented wedding photographers in the world, which is why he is the Flashmasters Photographer of the Year, he is also the owner of one of the best moustaches in photography. And Nelson and I were talking, as a bit of a joke, about how Evoto should introduce the Nelson slider, which would be a slider to make perfect moustaches like Nelson's. So Nelson and I decided to put this question to Evoto and see what they would think about the Nelson slider. But before I show 
show you what their answer was, and it, it was surprising. Let's just say that. I want to say what a pleasure it was to meet the incredible Francisco and Ashley from FJH Photography at the event. Francisco is an incredible photographer and educator, and as I found out, such a lovely, welcoming, and modest guy too. Hey everyone, just at the Avoto event still, and I've just met my new friend Francisco. It's me. I, he's got an amazing YouTube channel. So tell us about your channel. Uh, lots of lighting tutorials, but that's also your stuff too. But so I'm not gonna go into mine too much. Nah, enough of that. Then. <laughs> Check out Francisco's work. It's amazing. So let's now find out if Avoto laughed at myself and Nelson when we asked for the Ooh yeah. One of the best things about me being in New York this past couple of days has been to meet this legend, okay. Nelson Santos, our Flashmasters Photographer of the Year, no less, and the owner of, I would say, the best moustache in the game. Look at that. It's not symmetrical. It's, look, look at the loose ends over here. It's not fully symmetrical. Evoto's got to do something about this. So we, can we have the Nelson slider? So we're going we're gonna to go and ask Evoto if we can introduce a Nelson moustache slider. I think it's a cool idea. Okay, so we're gonna throw Ryan under the bus. Oh, well, we'll, we'll wait a second. We will jump on Ryan in a second. So, so it's a quick question. Yeah. I don't know if you've met ne my friend Nelson, who Nelson, has I'm Ryan. Nice the, meeting nice you. Meet you as well. The best moustache in the game. <laughs> I see but, that. But he was g genuine question saying that how he doesn't like his photo sometimes if his moustache isn't quite where it wanted to be. Okay. So we thought, let's give you some feedback. Is, is there, could there be anything in the future maybe where we have a Nelson slider? Interesting. Grab one of the guys that actually built this thing and ask them. Fire him if he doesn't have the right answer. <laughs> I would say yes, this, uh, it is possible. It's, it's like things like this that you don't think about until somebody brings it to you and you're like, wait a minute, actually, yeah, that, why not? If you want a name for it, put Oh yeah, slider. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah slider. Okay. Who wouldn't want that? Who yeah. wouldn't want to have a slider that just... <laughs> there you go everyone, coming to Evoto so soon, the oh yeah slider. I wanted to include that clip because it just shows how keen Evoto are to take on suggestions. We thought they would just laugh at that, but instead they took it on board. They were asking Nelson lots of questions and I have now no doubts that in the future we will see a moustache slider. Let's just hope it's called, ooh yeah. A massive thank you to Evoto for inviting me to attend Evoto One and also to Bruce, Jeff and Nelson for making my time in New York so special. I'm so grateful to all of you. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.